Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with another quick tutorial in uh, Lumion 8. Today we'll be looking at lighting our moving objects. So let's have a look at our transport uh, library in Lumion 8. You can find them in the objects, transport, and there is your transport library. We have plenty of options to uh, choose from. You have boats, buses, cars, sports cars, uh, utility vehicles, vans, uh, air transportation, trains, uh, emergency vehicles, a lot to uh, choose from. So let's start with something uh, simple today and that will be this little uh, moped. We'll uh, turn the lights on and as you can see the rear light and the front light or the headlamp is on. You can see it over there glowing but it is not casting any light so we have to uh, fix that. We'll simply go to, uh, to lights and special objects and select one of uh, the spotlights. You can choose whichever you like. I'm going to go with this uh, narrow beam uh, lamp or spotlight and simply place it on top of the headlamp. Now by pressing R you can adjust the angle of your spotlight so it is actually facing the front of the moped. There you go. Just bring the brightness down a little bit. Now we're done in the front. Let's move on to our rear light. We're going to repeat the same process using the same spotlight. Just place it on, press R and adjust the angle of your tail light. Now we're going to change the color since it is red and the brightness because it's not as bright as the headlamp. And there we are. A couple of easy steps and it looks uh, much better. Now the next step would be to uh, animate our object uh, and the lights moving along uh, with it. So what we have to do, we have to go to move mode, select all our lights along with our object and group it. You press this button, create group and uh, in the bottom uh, right corner you can see there is your group. Now it behaves as one object. We're going to uh, movie mode and simply uh, create simple movie and we'll go to effects settings and from scene and animation we choose mass movement now uh, we just create simply a path for our moped to go along we make it a little wider your object needs to be within the lines to be uh, animated and the moped will go around let's say 18 kilometers an hour uh, let's update, confirm, and let's have a look. And there we are. As you can see, the object is moving and the lights are moving along with it. So let's create something a little more uh, complicated. We will uh, delete this little moped in here and let's choose something different. I'm going to use this uh, ambulance. Just let's place it down. Once again, turn the lights on and as you can see, the headlamps and the rear lights are on. Once again, they are just glowing, but they are not emitting any light. We have two more extra lights in here kind of uh, emergency lights, we'll do uh, something different on them later on. So we'll repeat the same process we did with the moped, going to uh, lights and special objects and select, this time I'm going to select uh, a spotlight with a little bit uh, wider, wider range. Just place it over there, press R, To change the angle of, uh, of our light, bring down the brightness a little bit and now I'm just going to move, press M to move it along the axis 
to the right and when I press Alt M I'm going to create a copy of the same light and just simply move it across to the other headlamp and there you are. We have two identical lights on your headlamps. We're going to move to the back of the vehicle and do the same thing with our tail lights. Uh, I'm going to choose a, a little different spotlight for this one. Once again, you select, place it on the spot uh, on the light, press R, adjust the angle of your spotlight. Now we're going to change the, the color of the light to red and bring down the brightness somewhere around there. Oh, that looks nice. I'm going to press once again Alt and M hotkeys to create a copy of the light and simply move it across to the other light. Now we're done in there and moving on to the last two uh, sort of uh, emergency lights up here. I can use the, the same uh, spotlight that I use for the tail uh, lamps. Just place the, the light on the spotlight on the, on the red light, press R, rotate your spotlight to the front or wherever you, uh, you want it to face, change the color as it is red as well, bring the brightness down, not too much because these are emergency lights so maybe they are supposed to be bright and now press Alt M again and make a copy of the same light and drag it across to the uh, other light and there we are so the next step would be select all our lights and our object at the same time and group them so create a group now you can see it is behaving as one object go to our movie mode create a new uh, new move let's go a little closer new little clip Go to Effects, add Mass Movement, once again animate a path for our object. We have to widen the, the path for our vehicle so it fits within the lines and we'll bring up the speed of our car or an ambulance around 20 km an hour, should be enough. Okay. Just press these uh, nodes, make the, the corners nice and smooth. And update, recalculate, confirm. Let's have a look if it's moving. And there we are. It is moving nicely and the lights are moving along with our objects. Now, let's move the timeline to the, to the beginning. And I said we're going to do a little animation on these uh, little lights. We have to go uh, to Effects and add Animate Light Colors. So select that, select this uh, lights or bulb over there. And in here you choose the lights you want to be animated. So we want these two. So we simply select them, confirm. Now we want them to be red not to glow any other color so let's bring the green down and the blue as well now you move your timeline all the way to the to the beginning and in here there is a little uh, button called key uh, create keyframe this is what we're going to be working with so let's create the first keyframe you press that and we start with the full red um, red light you move the timeline a little bit you press the keyframe and you bring the light all the way down and you repeat this process all the way to the end of the timeline so move the timeline press the keyframe bring the light up move the timeline press the keyframe bring the light down and repeat all the way to the end bring the light up keyframe light down Keyframe, light up, and all the way to the end. Keyframe, and light down. And now let's see. 
And there you have it. As you can see, the ambulance is moving along our path and the lights, the little two uh, red lights, are animated and they are sort of uh, blinking or whatever you would call that. So that is a little trick uh, with specifically this uh, ambulance. You can do that on uh, police cars or any other vehicle. And basically this principle you just uh, use and follow on any um, transportation you would like to uh, animate in your, in your project. So that's all for today folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay well and stay creative.